Okay, Volkswagen Touareg. To remove the transfer case, this is what you have to do. We'll start at the back for the exhaust. There's gonna be two bolts up in that corner, right by the tailpipe for the hanger. Go to the other side, passenger side. There's two bolts up in there in the hanger. Then, come back here, middle of the body. There's two bolts right there for that hanger, which is on driver's side. Then you go to the passenger side. There's two more bolts for that hanger. Then you remove these nuts and slide back the clamp. It just slides back. Might have to mess with it or pound it, whatever. Same with this side. Take the exhaust, get it out of the way. Then your next step, remove this bracket for the drive shaft. So there's three bolts on this side, driver's side, three bolts on the passenger side. Then remove the two bolts for the center carrier bearing on the drive shaft. Then remove all the bolts for the drive shaft to the rear end. Then you come to the front, remove, you only have to remove three bolts. There's one, two, one on the top, so there's three. Those are the only ones you really have to remove. You don't have to remove the other ones that hold the donut. Those hold the donut to the drive shaft. These three that you're gonna remove go to the transfer case output shaft. So when you do that, remove all the bolts, then you're gonna whack this, or pry with a pry bar right here, and you're gonna pop this loose, push it in, drop it down, it's a little tight fit right here, and then the center guiding hole support, which is on the output shaft and the drive shaft, they will slide out. So you'll take the drive shaft, bring it to the back of the car and pull down. That's how you do that. Then remove the servo, servo motor to the transfer case. You want to take these, there's another bolt on the top, up in this corner, remove the three bolts, remove these two bolts. Best thing to do is to remove this first. You take these two bolts to take this cover off and then you can get to that upper bolt pretty easy, a lot better. And then remove the two harness. You got a 12 volt system here and then you got the other controls up on top. As far as I know, all the servo motor does is controls your low, low gear to high gear. Um, then you go ahead once you got that off, then you go ahead and then this passenger side exhaust, you remove these two bolts. Then you remove these two bolts for the hanger. Then you remove these three nuts. They're copper nuts, so they should come off pretty easy. Then you got another one over here, one here, and one back here. You got three of those. Then when you're done, you remove the drive shaft, pull that exhaust out. Then you remove this front drive shaft. Remove all the bolts here. Remove all the bolts here. Once you remove all those, then you pull the drive shaft towards this corner and then pull it towards this corner and then it pulls out this way towards the front of the car. Cause it's gonna need that room so you gotta pull this exhaust off. And when you're done with that, then you go ahead and remove, there's five bolts on this side on the transfer case. There's five bolts on this side for the transfer case. And then <clears throat> the best thing to do is to remove these two first, okay? Remove these first, but you have to have a jack underneath the oil pan in the corner over here to hold up the transmission. Then you remove these bolts. Then you lower the 
transmission until it rests on basically this, which is the center support. Then when you do that, then you, you can get to the bolts on the top of the transfer case because there's, there's five on the driver's side, five on the passenger side, and the two on the top on each side. You go in on top, so you're going to go through this way all the way on top and you're going to need like at least two foot extensions socket extension to get to those but that's it once you do that you got your transfer case out and then just reverse it to put it all back in that's it guys